next fight of the evening is in the tough enough welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, making his tough enough debut tonight, fighting independently right here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Andre Alito! His opponent stands across the cage in the red corner, also making his tough enough debut tonight. Fighting out of Meta, Las Vegas, Nevada, Eric King! Referee in charge of the action inside the cage is Chris Tyone. All right, guys, I'm done with the rules. Let's go to obey my commands, protect yourselves at all times. Any questions here? Questions here? Good luck, gentlemen, here we go. Three two-minute rounds is our format. These guys seem ready to go, Aaron Keith, almost refused to back up there for just a moment. He's wearing the black and the white trunks this evening. Andre Alito is wearing the black and the red. Both fighters making their debut here at Tough Enough tonight. Oh man, they're swinging fast. These guys are making their debut look pretty good. Andre Alito is saying, bring it on. Putting his head down and swinging hard. Aaron Keith is saying, sure, I'll give it to you. Oh, huge right hand. Andre Alito drops Aaron Keith. Can he finish the fight? He's looking for his back right now. Big shot dropped him to the ground, but Aaron Keith right back on his feet. However, we see his eyes right now. He looks woozy, he's but he's still, still swinging hard, man. Andre Alito is keeping his hands way too low. He is leading with his chin, but it's working so far. Moving around quick on his feet. Aaron Keith now starting to land some shots. He's connecting on Andre Alito. Andre Alito is fired up to be in there as well, though. He is saying, bring it on. Lands a right hand. Aaron Keith landed some shots of his own. Exchanges back and forth. Still got about a minute left in this round. Both fighters look strong at 170 pounds. Final 45 seconds here of this opening frame. Aaron Keith has Andre Alito pushed up against the cage right now. Throwing punches to the face, those are landing. Alito didn't like that, but he's pulled out and turned Keith around. Well, nope, Keith has turned him around now. Alito's in the black and the red. Keith is wearing the white and the black. And Keith is trying to land punches however he can. Andre Alito just has a body lock on him right now. I just gotta wonder how much energy these guys are using right here. Doesn't look like a lot's happening, but you know, these guys are both working very hard. To not Final go anywhere. seconds here of round number one. Very fast paced action in round number one, and that is the end of one. Both guys pat each other on the back, say nice round number one, and I completely agree. Wow. A tough one to score because there was so much action, but I would say that certainly that uh, drop of Aaron Keith by Andre Alito made a statement. So if I was the judges, I say Andre Alito gets round number Keith one. Keith came out, landed some really good punches right off the bat. You know, Alito dropped his, was dropping his hands, and uh, Keith went after him and then got caught. Keith came back, had another fury there, and uh, like I said, I think that 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 drop is gonna is gonna give Alito the round, but it's still very very close. Both these guys looking very good in the first round, making their debuts tonight here at the Tough Enough Fighting Championships. Yeah, the future stars of MMA. It's all about discovering guys that have got a long trajectory could potentially go on to become superstars in mixed martial arts, like, much like we've seen Ronda Rousey do that came right through this promotion, and Ryan Couture, Robert Drysdale, so many great people have come up through this organization. Could we be seeing a future star of MMA here tonight? It's possible. Aaron Keith looks very technically sound. Can he put it together, though, because on our unofficial scorecards, he is down one round right now. We're going to round number two. Two more minutes on the clock, and we are set to go. Aaron Keith walks across the cage, stalking. Big looping punches from Alito again. Alito keeping his hands way low still. Yeah, Alito looks tired too. Certainly not that same sort of spunk that he had in round number one. Or is he just trying to bait Keith in? Aaron Keith, white and black. Andre Alito, red and black. Oh, and Alito gets stung there. He got rocked on that one. Aaron Keith looking good, keeping his hands high, landing his punches. But you've got to watch out. Andre Alito's got these big looping punches that he throws as soon as Aaron Keith comes in. Nice right hand there from Keith. Keith's not loading up on those shots, but he's landing, he's landing, and he keeps landing. Alito's in escape, escape mode right now, backing up, trying to get away from Aaron Keith, and Aaron Keith, again, Ooh. looking very technical. There's a, there's a, there's a cut nice right on hand. Alito's lip. 
Yeah, Alito goes down, Aaron Keith goes to full mount. There's a minute left in this second round, and Aaron Keith with some nice hammer fists. Alito's eating big shots right now. He's just covering up. Referee Chris Sire is keeping a close watch on this. More shots from Keith. They're going unanswered right now. How much more damage? That is the end, ladies and gentlemen. Aaron Keith in his debut, despite getting dropped in round number one, makes a tremendous comeback and gets the victory tonight here at Tough Enough. He looks really sharp. Really, really sharp. Very technically sound throughout that entire fight. Even after he got rocked and dropped, did a great job coming back, didn't lose his form, kept his hands up, stalked forward. We saw how foggy his eyes were after he took that huge shot that dropped him. Did a great job recovering, though. Did exactly what he needed to do in order to get back in the fight. And then round number two was all about Aaron Keith. Yeah, looking at the replay, I mean, Keith was, wasn't was swinging wildly. He was picking those shots, and he was landing. He was just landing them time and time out. And after he got rocked, it's just conditioning. You know, the guy looks like he's in great shape for 170, tall for uh, a welterweight. But uh, I think that led to his ability to get back and uh, get back into this fight and come back. Seconds into the second round, your winner by TKO. Everett!